Education in Puerto Rico is overseen by the Department of Education of Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rico Education Council. The department oversees all elementary and secondary public education while the council oversees all academic standards and issues licenses to educational institutions wishing to operate or establish themselves in Puerto Rico. Instruction in Puerto Rico is compulsory between the ages of 5 and 18, which comprises the elementary and high school grades. Students in Puerto Rico may attend either public or private schools. As of 2013, the island had 1,460 public schools, 764 private schools, 606,515 K-12 students, 64,335 vocational students, and 250,011 university students. The literacy rate of the Puerto Rican population was 94.1% in 2002, when divided by gender. This is distributed as 93.9% for males and 94.4% for females. According to the 2000 census, 60.0% of the population attained a high school degree or higher level of education, and 18.3% has a bachelor's degree or higher. History The first school in Puerto Rico was the Escuela de Gramatica. The school was established by Bishop Alonso Manzo in 1513, in the area where the Cathedral of San Juan was to be constructed. The school was free of charge and the courses taught were Latin language, literature, history, science, art, philosophy and theology. Levels The educational system in Puerto Rico consists of seven categories. These categories are based on the educational levels covered. Some Puerto Rican schools, most notably in rural areas, offer kinder to ninth grade at the same institution and are referred to as Segunda Unidad. Other schools offer 7th grade to 12th grade at the same institution and are referred to as Nivel Secundario. Elementary and Secondary Education Public Education The Constitution of the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico grants the right to an education to every citizen on the island. To this end, public schools in Puerto Rico provide free and secular education at the elementary and secondary levels. The public school system is funded by the state and is operated by the Puerto Rico Department of Education. The department employs over 45,000 teachers of which 32,000 have full-time tenureships and are organized under several independent unions, including the Puerto Rico Teachers Association and the Teachers Federation of Puerto Rico. The remaining teachers are either temporary or contracted on a yearly basis. Preschool education, care, and services are free for low-income families with private daycares being common and within walking distance in urban areas. Primary and secondary education is compulsory and free regardless of income through more than 1,400 public schools. Ten public schools are considered prestigious locally, all of them being magnet schools, which graduate the highest scores on the island of the College Board's PEAU. Two examples of these are CIMATEC and CROEM which focus on science, technology, and mathematics. Public schools in Puerto Rico are subject to the federal laws of the United States. The NCLB, No Child Left Behind Act included Puerto Rico until President Obama approved a waiver in October 22, 2013. Language Unlike most schools in the United States, public school instruction in Puerto Rico is conducted entirely in Spanish. English is taught as a second language and is a compulsory subject at all levels. In the early years following the 1898 American occupation of the island, the opposite was true. Public schooling was entirely conducted in English, and Spanish was treated as a special subject. In 2012, pro-statehood Governor Luis Fortuno caused controversy when he proposed that all courses in Puerto Rico public schools be taught in English instead, if Spanish as they currently are. Private schools Private schools in Puerto Rico are operated by non-governmental institutions. 
Accredited elementary and secondary private schools in Puerto Rico must meet minimum public education requirements for academic work. There are more than 700 private schools on the island, most of them Catholic. It is constitutionally illegal to deny entrance or take action against students that profess a different faith than the school they attend or intend to attend. Students from differing denominations are legally freed from attending religious activities on the schools they attend. Prominent private schools include Academia del Perpetua Socorro, Academia Maria Reina, Academia San Jorge, Colegio Marista Guinabo, Colegio San Ignacio de Loyola, and Colegio San Jose which maintain a high rate of students being accepted into prominent universities in the United States. Homeschooling Homeschooling, an alternative form of education, is legal in Puerto Rico but is neither regulated nor legislated. The issue of legislation has caused a serious rift within the homeschooling community. While some of these parents want the government to establish a public policy on homeschooling, others oppose all forms of legislation. They also allege that the lack of regulation has led them to confront difficulties when interacting with the government, as evidenced in the case of a homeschooled student who was denied federal social security benefits from the applicable law portion of the decision. Student benefits are payable if the student meets the federal standards for full-time attendance. The law of the state in which the home school is located recognizes home school as an educational institution. The home school the student attends meets the requirements of state law in which the home school is located, and the student meets all the other requirements for benefits. Education is compulsory in Puerto Rico between the ages of 6 and 17 years. 3 LPRA 391 Attendance in public elementary and secondary schools is compulsory for students except for those students attending schools established under non-governmental auspices, Puerto Rico Constitution. Article 2518 LPRA 2. After careful consideration of all the evidence, the undersigned administrative law judge concludes the claimant did not attend a sanctioned homeschool program approved by the Puerto Rican legislature within the meaning of the Social Security Act from December 1, 2003 to August 1, 2004. Higher education in Puerto Rico Over half of the students entering college-level institutions in Puerto Rico never graduate. 41% of four-year students in public universities and 33% in private institutions get a diploma. Community colleges and technical institutes There are a number of junior colleges on the island, the most prominent being the Huertas College, the ICPR Junior College, the Instituto de Banca y Comercio, and the National University College. There is one state-run system, the Puerto Rico Technological Institute, which possesses several prestigious programs at the local level and whose costs are significantly below market prices. Instituto de Banco y Comercio, Ponce Paramedical College, Colleges and Universities The three major university systems on the island are the University of Puerto Rico with 11 campuses, the Anergy Mende University System with three major campuses and SIM satellites, and the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico with nine campuses and two specialized schools. The University of Puerto Rico performs the following. It produces more than 80% of all post-secondary research on the island. It graduates the largest number of Hispanic engineers in the United States. It graduates the largest number of chemical engineers in the United States. It graduates the second largest number of female engineers in the United States. It owns the largest number of patents by a university on the island. It has the largest enrollment on the island and one of the largest in the United States. It has the largest faculty body on the island and one of the largest in the United States. It offers the largest number of academic programs on the island and one of the largest in the United States. 
It offers the largest number of doctoral programs on the island. It has the largest number of campuses on the island. It has the highest ratio of students from the island that enroll in graduate studies. It confers the largest number of post-secondary degrees on the island. It conducts almost all medical research on the island. It is considered the best university in all the Caribbean. Its flagship campus has won 24 out of the 87 Global Cups of the Puerto Rico College Athletics, and it has graduated 6 out of 10 governors of Puerto Rico. The system is a source of patronage. Its board of trustees, chancellor, rectors, deans, and program directors changing whenever a different political party gains power as the university is a government-owned corporation. Its flagship campus is also prone to student strikes, averaging about one strike every three years that halts the whole campus, with the system as a whole averaging about one strike every five years that halts the whole system. Most strikes derive from the university management attempting to raise the cost per credit the institution offers. This has been $55 per undergraduate credit and $117 per graduate credit. It is highly unlikely that a student graduates with college debt as a full Pell Grant covers most costs for low-income students, and those that don't receive a full Pell Grant or a Pell Grant at all can easily cover tuition costs. This economic accessibility comes at a price for the taxpayers of Puerto Rico. 9.6% of the general budget of the government of Puerto Rico is automatically assigned to the university by law. In 2008, when the economy shrunk, so did the university's endowment. This resulted in problems for an already highly indebted university incapable of generating enough revenue to maintain itself. Because of this, the Board of Trustees increased tuition costs, which led to strikes. Other strikes were caused by the suggestion of reducing the percentage automatically assigned to the university. No bill has been filed for such purpose. The University of Puerto Rico offers the largest academic choices with 472 academic programs of which 32 can lead to a doctorate. UPR is also the only system with a business school, an engineering school, a law school, a nursing school, a school of architecture, and a school of medicine. Almost all its schools and programs rank first on the island, although competition has increased in the last decades with private universities gaining track at a fast pace. The Anna G. Mende system, the Inter-American University, and the University of the Sacred Heart possess a business school with the University of Sacred Heart leading in non-profit management and social enterprise, as well as in communications. The Polytechnic University of Puerto Rico and the Terray Bor University both have engineering schools with the Polytechnic University leading in computer security and offering the only master's degree in computer science on the island. Ranking regarding law schools is subjective with the University of Puerto Rico School of Law, the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico School of Law, and the Eugenio Maria de Hostos School of Law considered the best although UPR still leads in constitutional law. The University of Puerto Rico School of Medicine and the University of Puerto Rico School of Dental Medicine lead in medicine and dentistry. The Inter-American University School of Optometry is the only school of optometry on the island. The Carlos Albizu University leads in psychology. The Metropolitan University leads in environmental management. The UPR leads in environmental science. In terms of arts, the Atlantic University College leads in digital arts. The Conservatory of Music of Puerto Rico and the School of Plastic Arts of Puerto Rico are considered leaders in music and arts respectively. The School of International Relations was created in November 2013 under the name of Morales Carrion Diplomatic and Foreign Relations School, ascribed to the Department of State of Puerto Rico and still in development. Almost all junior colleges, colleges, universities, and schools are accredited by the Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools. 
Specific programs tend to possess their respective accreditation as well although it is not uncommon for programs to not possess its expected accreditation. For example, only two business schools are accredited by AACSB. Contemporary issues Dropout rate A recent study by the Department of Education of Puerto Rico showed that about 40% of all the students that enter 10th grade in public schools in Puerto Rico drop out and never finish secondary education. Parents participation A January 2014 news report stated that 55% of parents with children in public schools picked up their children's grades for the first semester of 2013-2014 school year on the scheduled day. Poor performance in public schools according to the Economist Intelligence Unit. 95% of public school students in Puerto Rico graduate at a sub-basic level while 60% do not even graduate. Furthermore, according to the Department of Education of Puerto Rico, 39% of public school students perform at a basic level in Spanish in the Puerto Rican tests of academic achievement. Likewise, 36% perform at a basic level in mathematics while 35% perform at a basic level in English and 43% at a basic level in science in said tests. Moreover, studies published in 2003, 2005, and 2007 by the United States National Center for Education Statistics as part of the National Assessment of Educational Progress concluded that Puerto Rico falls below basic levels when compared to the United States, being basic defined as partial mastery of the knowledge and skills that are fundamental for proficient work, according to an AEP. In particular the findings showed that, overall, 4th and 8th grade students in Puerto Rico scored lower, on average, than public school students in the United States. 12% of students in Puerto Rico scored at or above basic in 4th grade in comparison to the United States where 79% of students scored at or above basic in the same grade. 6% of students in Puerto Rico scored at or above basic in 8th grade in comparison to the United States where 68% of students in the United States scored at or above basic in the same grade. As a result of this, 1,321 out of 1,466 public schools in Puerto Rico do not comply with the academic progress requirements established by the No Child Left Behind Act. Market demand for college graduates Puerto Rico is atypical as many youngsters pursue post-secondary studies even though the local market has no demand for them. For example, in 2012 50,000 students graduated at the undergraduate and graduate level while the labor market generated about 6,000 jobs per year of which 25% of those required that level of education. This effectively means that the Puerto Rican market has no demand for 97% of those who graduate with an undergraduate or graduate degree in Puerto Rico, although many find jobs out of the island. Notable Puerto Rico educators Lolita T. Zoll, Alfredo M. Aguayo, Mariano Villaromatoro, Maria Teresa Babin, Elias Lopez Sober, Eugenio Maria de Hostos, 